is a layer of silver, and it's actually slightly more reflective than aluminum. But astronomers use aluminum for their telescopes because it's more durable and less expensive to maintain. Making aluminum-coated mirrors for telescopes isn't as simple as dipping a brush in buckets of aluminum paint and slapping it on glass. Just ask the scientists at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland. The setting for the transformation of glass into mirror is a vacuum chamber. The um, process of coating the mirror um, demands that the environment not be contaminated we actually evacuate uh, most of the air out of the chamber. So the cleaner the chamber is, the cleaner the coating is going to be. With the glass in place, it's time to add the aluminum. These staples are 99.999 pure aluminum. Uh, we use these as the base for the aluminum coatings. Uh, we put them on hand, by hand on the tungsten filament to prepare it for the coating process. The lid lowers, sealing the chamber, and a pump removes virtually all the air. An electric current heats the filaments, melting the staples, and removing any lingering impurities in the aluminum. Once the aluminum is melted, uh, this is the way it looks on the filament. So you can see that the aluminum is no longer a hard staple, but it's actually wetted along the a coil of the filament. Next, a second stronger electric current passes through the filaments. In a blinding flash, the aluminum vaporizes. The hot aluminum gas rises and condenses on the cooler glass surface. The deposited layer is 1,500 times thinner than a human hair. But as shiny as the aluminum coating is, it faces a host of enemies. Over time, moisture and pollen and bugs and things like that will get on the optical surfaces and they'll start etching into the aluminum and they degrade the coating over time. The only way to restore an aluminum coated mirror is to remove the corrupted coating and replace it with a fresh one. It's a major event for observatories and a necessity about every two years. First, technicians must remove the mirror from the telescope's housing. Stripping off the old coating starts with soap and water. Chemical solvents then eat away the aluminum coating to reveal the underlying glass base. Next, paper towels are used to clean and dry the glass before a vacuum chamber lowers into place and deposits the shiny aluminum. Bugs and dirt aren't a worry for the orbiting 95-inch aluminum-coated mirror on the Hubble. But NASA engineers have to guard it against an entirely different threat. Yeah, you go up in space and you have extreme differentials. If it's facing the sun, if it's nighttime, it, you're talking hundreds of degrees in variation. And that'll change the contour of the mirror. Trying to lick the problem, NASA scientists have developed a new kind of aluminum mirror without a glass base. You can use the aluminum to make uh, your mirror and the mounting structure all out of the same material. If um, the temperature changes, then your mirror and your mounting structure then uh, shrinks or expands by the same amount so you don't get uh, distortions and stresses that will twist the mirror and um, destroy its imaging properties. The challenge for NASA's engineers is to turn pure aluminum discs like this one into mirrors. Pulling that off requires getting rid of the rough surface. A diamond-tipped lathe is the answer. It will dig in just below the surface and in a uniform slice, begin to smooth the aluminum to a natural shine. During the procedure, a paint thinner solution sprays away debris. It also cools the diamond tip, which heats up as it carves into the metal. 
and after just two minutes, a final polishing treatment will smooth out leftover microscopic imperfections. Anything you want to lift on the surface.